Number nine, a person slaps her leg with her hand, bringing her hand to rest in 2.5 milliseconds from an initial speed of four meters per second. Letter A, what is the average force exerted on the leg, taking the effective mass of the hand and forearm to be 1.5 kilograms? All right. Um, so what we need to do here is we need to calculate average force, right? And they were giving us values of speed, uh, time, right? And mass. So we're thinking about, well, maybe... Uh, momentum is involved, right? Force is time. So the equation over here on the right-hand side is one that comes to my mind, right? So we have the change in uh, momentum will equal the force multiplied by the change in time over which that force was uh, applied. So now in order to find force, we simply divide out the time, right? The change in time from both sides. And we find that the force is now going to be equal to the change in momentum, right, over the change in time. So in earlier videos, I came up with a nice simplified formula for change in momentum. I'm not going to derive it here again, but if you're curious as to where it comes about, check out one of the videos prior in this chapter. So the force here is going to be equal to the mass multiplied by the final velocity minus the initial velocity, all divided by the time it took to change that momentum. And I can leave it as delta t. That's fine. It's not a big deal. But in this problem, right, we're assuming the clock starts at zero and therefore ti will be zero. So I'm just really looking for TF. Uh, now what we're going to look to do is see if we have all the information we need to plug it in. Do we know the mass of the hand and arm? Yeah, it told us 1.5 kilograms. Do we know the final velocity? Well, yeah, it came to rest. Do we know the initial velocity? Sure, right? The uh, initial velocity here was uh, 4 meters per second. And the time over which it took to change that momentum, they told us 2.5 milliseconds. Remember, time has to be in seconds, though. So let's start plugging in the values. So here we have uh, the mass is equal to 1.5 kilograms. The final velocity was zero. The initial velocity, so here is basically my picture, right? The initial velocity is, uh, here's the arm, it's going down. So the velocity is really in the negative uh, x direct, uh, excuse me, negative y direction. So when I plug it in here, I'm gonna plug in a negative, right, 4.00 meters per second. Okay, and then now divide that by the time over which it took to change. So it's going to be dividing the millisecond, the 2.5 milliseconds by 1,000. Another way to look at it is just move that decimal three, uh, three places to the left. So it's 0 0.00250. And now all I need to do is plug it into the calculator. So let's see what it comes out to be. So point, uh, 1.5 times essentially positive 4, right? Double negative divided by 0 0.0025. And we get a value here of 2.4. So here is 2.4 times 10 to the 3, all right, newtons. So uh, that is the uh, that is the force that. So now that for that value is positive, right? So that's the force that changed the momentum. And if you think about it, well, why it's positive, and does that make sense? Well, it should, because the velocity, right, was downward. And in order to stop this motion going down, there must be a force that opposes the motion going down, and therefore that force is pointing up. And that force should be positive, right? Because it's pointing in the positive y direction. So it, it is reasonable, right? So that would be the force. Okay, so that is letter A. Let me just change the color. Letter A, and why don't we now take a look at letter uh, B. Okay, let's see what we got going on. So would the force be any different if the woman clapped her hands together at the same speed and brought them to rest in the same time? Uh, explain why or why not. So the answer is, uh, would it be any different? No, it would be no different. The reason why is because if you look at this formula, right, the formula tells us that the force applied will be equal to the change in momentum divided by the change in time. So if these two value if these two variables are the same, then the force should also be the same. So let's think about it. Right, did the mass of the hand change at all? No, still the same hand. Did the final velocity change? No, it still came to rest completely. And did the initial velocity change at all of the hand? Uh, no, it did not, right? The initial velocity was still four meters per second. Now, since you're clapping your hands together though, one is moving in the opposite direction of the other. All right, but at the end, if you think about it, there is no net um, velocity for either your right or left hand if they're coming together with the same momentum. Right? They're just gonna you're gonna clap and they're not gonna 
we'll, we'll see this example later on in problems, but that system at the end is not going to move anywhere because the momentum of the left hand would equal to the momentum of the right hand, and therefore there's no final momentum at the end of that system if I frame the initial as the two hands coming together. So uh, that's a long answer. The short answer is no. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I look forward to helping you with the next question. Have a great day.